introduction to organic chemistry. In the past, scientists classified compounds on the basis of their sources, and they formed two main groups of compounds, organic compounds and inorganic compounds. Organic compounds are obtained from living organisms. For example, carbohydrates are obtained from plants, proteins are obtained from animals, lipids are also obtained from animals. Secondly, inorganic compounds are obtained from non-living things. For example, salts like table salt, sulfates like calcium sulfate, nitrates like potassium nitrate. These all compounds are inorganic compounds. Later, Berzelius presented vital force theory in 1809. This theory states that organic compounds are synthesized by living organisms and it cannot be prepared in the laboratory. For example, according to this theory, carbohydrates like sucrose C12H22O11 is only synthesized by plants. We cannot prepare them in the laboratory. Secondly, Proteins are only synthesized by animals. Also, we cannot prepare them in the laboratory. They believed that God-given power is present only in living organism which is responsible for the synthesis of organic compounds. Due to this belief, the vast field of organic compounds was not discovered. But a German scientist, Friedrich Uhler, in 1828 broke the vital force theory. He prepared the first organic compound, urea, in a laboratory. He took ammonium cyanide and after heating, it converted to urea. Urea is organic compound which is found in waste products of living organisms like human beings. Note it down that this is the first chemical reaction of organic compound. Secondly, urea is the first man-made organic compound. Due to this important milestone, Friedrich Uhler is called as father of organic chemistry. Thus, he opened a new chapter in the chemistry called organic chemistry. Now, what is organic chemistry? Well, the branch of chemistry in which we study about carbon and hydrogen compounds and their derivatives is called organic chemistry. Let me repeat it. The branch of chemistry in which we study about carbon and hydrogen compounds and their derivatives is called organic chemistry. For example, we study about two areas in organic chemistry. Firstly, we study about carbon and hydrogen compounds like CH4 which is commonly known as a biogas. Secondly, we study about carbon and hydrogen derivatives. For instance, Consider CH4 or methane. It is organic compound and we can convert it into carbon tetrabromide CBr4. It means that this carbon tetrabromide is derived from methane. So it is also organic compound. Remember that there are some compounds which contain carbon but they are not organic compound. For example, carbides like aluminium carbide carbonates like calcium carbonate and cyanides like sodium cyanide. Therefore, note it down that organic chemistry is the branch of chemistry in which we study about carbon and hydrogen compounds and their derivatives. I hope that you understand the basic concept of organic chemistry.